and I don't think he's full speed yet. Eddie Payton back deep for Minnesota. Eagles throw on a formation to John Shira, and they come up with a clutch first down. Max Runniger, Max Runniger's first pass of the year, and while it didn't look like Van Brocklin or Bobby Lane or Kramer or Jaworski, I'll be darned if it didn't get there. Shira wide open, penalty marker down. Could be face mask. And Shira has a broken hand that he broke against Dallas. Boy, there's a good official. Tunney's getting the officials away, the line judge away, so he can talk in peace. Imagine he had a lot of people yelling at him over by the Minnesota bench. I mean, the Eagle bench. And Blair's yelling at him, too. Where did Shira come from? He came from UCLA, then went to Canada. The Bears had the draft rights. And actually, the Eagles got him by way of Tampa Bay. It looks like the Vikings got the call. I wouldn't be surprised if they're not saying this is a hideout. Remember the old-time hideout, hideout play? Which, of course, is illegal. Meal was just fine $2,000 after the Dallas game. And he has really given Jim Tunney a piece of his mind. I'll bet you that's what this is. They're saying that he was lined up over where the Minnesota players couldn't see him, blending in with the rest of the Eagle players. We used to hide people in long grass, but I haven't seen the sleeper play in a long time. And the argument continues. Tony will tell us. Five for the delay. We have two fouls. Personal foul on 45 at the end of the run. We have unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 21 came off the bench, was within five yards of the sideline. Offsetting foul. We will replay. That's exactly what happened. Came off of the pitch and lined up, but you can't be within five yards of the sidelines. The only way you could do a sleeper play otherwise would be to unzip the rug and get under it. <laughs> Here's Runniger. Look at nobody out with Shira. And actually it was uh, Tommy Hannon, the safety man, that got face mask and half of Shara. Jim Tunney, the head man there, just got married the 27th of December. What a way to spend your honeymoon. 